You may have seen this video floating, if you will, on social media. It's pretty much everywhere. Uh, the Cleveland Tiki Barge crashing into the Nautica Queen. The captain was fired. The passengers from the ride are coming forward with their own concerns now, Nikki. Some actually even considering legal action. So our CN New Yorker is live after tracking some of them down and has new developments now about the investigation. So Sia, tell us, you know, what can you tell us? <laughs> Chris and Nicole, this is the area where the Cleveland Tiki Barge hit the dock, Nautica Queen. Now, passengers I spoke with said they still haven't received any explanation on how or why that crash happened. We're very fortunate that someone wasn't killed uh, and hurt a whole lot worse. I'm not minimizing any of the accidents, but thank God nobody uh, died or had to be life flighted out of there. I talked with personal injury attorney Tim Misney, who says he sees red flags in this incident. <laughs> this is cell phone video provided to 19 News of a private party all aboard the Cleveland Tiki Barge on Saturday, May 22nd. Alexis Torres says all 20 of them were having a good time cruising the Cuyahoga River until this. Torres says they were stunned. It was like we just backed up really quick. We're like, whoop and then went forward and went back to the dock. And it was just silent, like, you know, like that whole maybe two, three minutes to get back to our dock. Nothing was said. He was like trying to get out of there fast, it seemed like. The U.S. Coast Guard is investigating and says the crew tested negative for alcohol and there was one non-serious injury and some cosmetic damage. However, Alexis and some other passengers say there's more to the story. Like there was at least seven people injured. A lot of people had bruises, um, just like either bumping into people like from the fall or hitting the side of the boat. Uh, my one friend has like a big bruise like on her rib mm -hmm. because she hit the side of the boat. So, I mean, there were injuries and I just don't like that. It was kind of hush hush. We got off the boat and it was like they were loading uh, the next party onto another boat, like right away. And I'm like, <laughs> so like, we're just supposed to leave. We need to get some people examined to see how they're getting along. And we also need to find out what the management did in terms of training and supervising, because we can't allow that to continue on because the next time there's an accident, it could be a tragedy. I also reached out to the owner of the Tiki Barge, Brittany Orlando. She stopped replying to our request for an on-camera interview. I also spoke with the chief from the Coast Guard, and they say this is still an active investigation. Reporting in Cleveland, CNN New Yorker, 19 News.